Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Pisces. Hello, Pisces. All right. Somebody's giving confirmation about some kind of magic that's being done so that somebody can swap spaces with a person. Swap spaces or places with somebody. Somebody is going with Anne. All right. I'm also hearing too when, when crap hits the fan, somebody's going to be ghost. All right, this page of pentacles though is some type of confirmation. Somebody is receiving confirmation um, about something that they were confused about here. All right, with the magician card. The magician card also can speak of someone just realizing now after being confused that they have the tools and the resources that they need. Somebody could be getting some kind of offer. Um, Somebody, I feel like somebody is just ready now and willing to invest in a person or a situation because all I'm getting is a lot of confirmation about a situation or a person after a lot of confusion. The Six of Pentacles is here. So um, the Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups with the, ju with the judgment here. Somebody is going to have to forgive a person from their past. Okay, because somebody from the past, maybe even from childhood, this could even be a parent. Okay, somebody has constantly been taking something from an individual for their own personal gain. And it hasn't been for, for any of the right reasons. Somebody is realizing that they've had to go through this situation with a friend, family member, lover, or whomever for a reason. It was a part of the judgment of their awakening and learning about compassion and forgiveness. Let me see. I'm just going to leave those out there. I want to get another. Um, there, there's something here. Let's clarify. Before I continue, I, I want to see what this is. What is the Seven of Cups? It's like confusion. But the, with the Seven of Cups being here with the Magician card, you know, we're still in Libra season. It's a lot here with justice, things being balanced out. Somebody here has been confused about their own gifts. This could even be spiritual gifts. Or somebody has just been confused about how to use, like I said, their tools and their resources. Somebody has been told the wrong information about manifestation or they've been lied. It just feels like somebody has been lied to since a child and they've been sewing into something that's not actually for them or it's just not beneficial to them at all. I'm hearing that somebody has been sewing into something. This page of Pentacles though, somebody and the hermit is a it can be a, an energy that's hidden, kind of out of sight, out of mind, off the grid. It feels like something here is in the background, like a person is giving in to a person, a place, a situation, or sewing into something, not realizing that it's not good. Somebody is a part of a a friends group, a family community congregation and they have been since a child something here about childhood not realizing that hey what well, it's like spirits like wake up this is not for you this is not good yeah nine of swords in the reverse and the ace of swords in the reverse somebody has been lied to about something two of pentacles and wow two of pentacles and the two of swords yeah there you have it and the Hierophant, King of Wands, Leadership, Teamwork, Collaboration, Three of Pentacles. Somebody has been working alongside like their family or their friends or something like they've been, somebody has tried to be resilient and stay in a connection, a community, a job or whatever it is. It's some kind of, part. somebody is partnered with somebody and it's bringing a bunch of conflict this could have been in the past. Somebody is about to realize now that there's a, a partnership. This could even be a soul tie. There's some kind of connection that a person with the Six of Pentacles, they're receiving karma from something. This, this could be a generational thing as well. Ancestral trauma, generational hexes and those things are very real. 
somebody is about to finally realize with a little bit of introspection and healing that the reason why they keep on receiving this energy of all of this stress, fear, anxiety, the two of pentacles in the reverse, they can't seem to get a lack of balance is because they unknowingly have, have planted a seed somewhere that was not good. Somebody planted a seed somewhere. It was something that they were dreaming of, fantasizing about. Okay, for some of you, this, this could be like a pyramid scheme or something where somebody has sold somebody on the idea that, hey, if you do this, you know, you're going to get so much back. It's like somebody has been gambling with their life, not, not realizing it, though. Because it feels like something happened a long time ago and a person hasn't realized that the reason why they cannot move forward is because of this. It's also a mindset with the Hierophant being here. The Hierophant and the King of Wands. There's a Hierophant here in charge of a situation. This is um a person of leadership, possibly could it could be a preacher, a pastor, a spiritualist, or whatever. This could be a father figure, somebody, yeah. Definitely religious, something religious for some. Somebody's religious beliefs or or and it, you know, not knocking anybody's but a person in power or leadership has been confusing somebody and somebody doesn't realize that the reason, yeah, I, I'm just going to call it like I see it. Somebody's ideas about life, manifestation, and abundance have been limited and leading them to self-sabotage because of their beliefs. This is like, you know, somebody telling a person, oh, well, you're very, very evil and low vibrational if you're wealthy. It's something like that. Somebody has been taught that, you know, you shouldn't want more or if you're, you're striving and thriving in life, it's bad. It's something about somebody's beliefs. Yeah. Teamwork and resilience, and somebody feels like they can't get out of this because it's their family or their tradition. Culture, religion, it's something like that. They're somebody's beliefs. You know, in order to be a leader, then you have to, that's what it is. It's, it's in order for you to be a leader, you have to do everything by the book. You have to be religious. You know, you have to work with these kind of people. Things are supposed to move very slowly, resilient, you know, pain is love, love is pain. You got to go through hell to ever see heaven. Like somebody has been told a bunch of BS about life and they've been living their life according to these false teachings. And now something is about to happen where somebody's going to realize like, wait a minute, this isn't right because a person is constantly experiencing a lot of conflict and drama in their partnerships. So whatever this is, somebody is just, real, they've been taught wrong. It's about programming. And now something is being balanced out with the temperance and the moon is in the reverse. So the illusion here is being removed. It, there's a secret and there's an illusion here. Somebody is getting the truth. That's going to bring them a lot of peace and balance. That whatever somebody told them about life, about love, religion, spirituality, making money or whatever a person that they respected that is of uh you know possibly in leadership somebody lied or it's not even that somebody lied it's just somebody had limiting beliefs those limiting beliefs have been shared okay throughout generations and people are waking up and realizing that oh no that whatever i was taught is not going to work for me in my life at this point Somebody has not been able to experience generosity or reciprocity in their relationships because they always turn away from love. That some Somebody just keeps rejecting things that are good for them because of what they've been taught. Five of Wands in the reverse. So what is somebody rejecting? Nine of Wands. This is just some kind of It's like an ongoing battle. It's, it's somebody being taught to live in fear and be isolated. 
that it's like you have to go through a bunch of suffering and pain. The Ace of Swords is here. That's the truth. With the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords. Something is escalating quickly and somebody's going to take action. And they're going to go after whoever or whatever has been leading them down this rabbit hole to be confused and they're going to free themselves. And when they do, they're going to move forward and they're going to quickly put an end to a situation and realize that they need to protect something. So let me tell you what I'm getting here. This this is another reading that I've had today that has something to do with relationships. Somebody has been in the background of someone's life brainwashing them when it comes to love, money, and relationships. And I really feel that these are friends, family, but we're not going to forget how toxic some people's parents can be. Somebody has a parent, a mother figure, father figure, um, a trusted mentor, somebody that has been teaching them that you're supposed to go through a lot of difficulty in order to be in a committed relationship or somebody is under the impression that a committed relationship is perfect and that there are absolutely no challenges. Whatever it is, it's, it's, it's wrong. It's based on fear-based thoughts and beliefs of somebody who probably has not actually gone within to do the healing work or the shadow work to actually understand how life, love, relationships, the, the building of wealth and legacy, how it truly works. And somebody is now coming into the realization that, wow, I think I have this wrong. Because all of a person's friendships, commitments, relationships, and partnerships are being sabotaged and are constantly um, being sap like destroyed with a bunch of conflict. Somebody has been afflicted by a very, very closed-minded, low vibrational person who is really clueless, who is out telling other people how to live. This could be a, a practitioner, preacher, parent, something about peace. Practitioner, um, a psychologist, psychotherapist, who, somebody though is already stuck in a lot of toxicity and karma some kind of self-imposed imprisonment of their own and they're going out mentoring and ministering to other people that they need to either stay in very toxic situations or that if a situation has any kind of um, drama or toxicity that it, it's just bad, you can meet a person and you're like, no, no person is perfect. And you cannot judge every person based on, judge a person's life, their life story based on the chapter that you walked in. On it, like, you can meet a person who just lost everything. And you will look at the person and think, oh, well, they, you know, they're poor. So why should I deal with that person? But mindset, I always talk about this because I see it happen so much. If a millionaire loses everything, when they get it back, I promise you, there'll be a multi-millionaire the next time because they, they've seen it all, they've lost it all. But see, a lot of people will look at a person that has lost something and assume the worst about them. People love to judge and they don't realize how they're misjudging. Somebody has been taught to judge and misjudge people the wrong way and now they're realizing like, oh wow, I think I got this wrong. And it is because the person has been in, a, in an ongoing battle and cycle of loss. This is like a person telling an individual, um, you really need to go for a super religious person or a person who walks, talks, dresses a certain way, has a certain status quo, you know? And then they get with the person and they're like, well, I keep going after the type of person that friends and family or society says that I should be with, but I'm always unhappy. This could even be somebody, too, who has had multiple divorces. And they're like, well, why is it that I keep going through these separations, breakups, and divorces? Or why is it I keep going to these jobs and things aren't working? It's because of a mindset. Somebody is trying to live according to a mindset or some type of doctrine 
that is not actually in alignment with their core beliefs. But somebody is about to take action and see the truth about some kind of illusion. Like somebody's perception is going to shift and change so that they can change their reality because the magician is like somebody got tools and, and lessons from one cycle in their life, but they're about to get new tools for the next cycle. So the chariot flipped over. It's a bunch of cards. I'm not taking all these. But the chariot flipped over. So somebody is moving forward. But look, you have here the high, the high priestess with the three of swords and the justice. The nine of swords. This also with the, the awakening card, Hangman. Somebody here has been lied to about spirituality. That That's definitely something out here. Whatever somebody has been told or taught about spirituality it was a lie or with the three of swords you have a spiritualist out here who is heartbroken who is lying to people and projecting things onto other people that's false take care of a resonance justice but this here is, is coming to an end. Something has to be balanced out here. Yeah, Queen of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. This could be a Queen of Cups. High Priestess for sure. Somebody keeps trying to move forward. I feel like somebody here is trying to move forward and put themselves in a position where they feel like they can call judgment on other people or they feel like they should be getting justice in a situation that's actually very balanced. I'm, I'm sorry, imbalanced. Somebody's perception is just off. It's like distorted perceptions and desires because someone, the way they see life, they, they desire justice. But it's like, there's actually nothing wrong here. So th this right here can be very dangerous because this is the kind of person who will go out and will even go as far as to spiritually attack other people, feeling like they are rightful. And I just heard doing defense magic against people because of what they were taught in the past. So this could be, for example, because I'm getting a lot of different examples, so just roll with me. This could be the type of person who is very religious. They're praying that all spiritual people go to hell. Or this could be somebody who is praying against people who are in certain communities. Say for instance, um, the LGBTQ community or whatever, like somebody is looking at a group of people judging them and trying to play God or some kind of Messiah. Like they can judge, condemn, convict other people. And they're not even paying attention to their own drama. Like this person is not rightful. Like they're not righteous. But, but they actually are very critical, like overly self-righteous. So somebody out here is extremely conservative. And I don't know if they have a problem with you that's watching or somebody else. Like this, this, this feels like a person who they're not a person of love and light, but they portray themselves to be. This person singles out certain people because of race, background, any kind of preference or orientation that they disagree with. They will attack you. Like this person is, they will spiritually attack you, but they feel justified in doing it because they feel like if you're not doing what they're doing, then you're wrong. That's a very dangerous kind of person because <laughs> temperance here and the ace of wands. 
this situation though is being balanced out so that you can have a passion new beginning and then here's the sun this could be i I'm, i just heard a preacher's kid this could be a preacher's son somebody's son i heard a preacher's kid with the the song the page of cups and the hierophant now this hierophant could be um like a, a spiritual leader king of wands here with the hierophant we saw before somebody here is in a place of leadership they could have a son who actually believes in peace and harmony but whoever this parents or mentor or pastor or whomever it is like I said they preach love and light you know equality for all but they don't mean that and of course this person doesn't have to be a preacher or you know whatever but this is somebody who is very conservative whoever it is and I guarantee you, they're talking love and like they turn themselves like they love kids and all, but they don't. They, they do as long as you're doing what they want you to do. Queen of Wands, Nine of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is the kind of person. If you are assertive, ambitious, if you dress a certain way, you talk a certain way, you're outgoing, you're ambitious. You know, you're not trying to live the the non like lifestyle, then you're bad. This higher thing could actually be a woman. This is somebody who will become very harsh and hostile with you for how you choose to express yourself. So, you know, again, like if, if you do something that's considered um, taboo, that's not socially acceptable, whether it's, you know, because of your sexual orientation, you're spiritual, you read tarot. Um, I don't know if you wear your hair a certain way, you dress a certain way. You have somebody out here that is very conservative and self-righteous. And it, it, it's more than just they have a problem with what you're doing. They're attacking you for what you're doing. But see, you have to be careful because this person could be the kind of individual who is attacking you in the dark. You don't, you don't know they're attacking you, but they are. Knight of Pentacles. This person wants to slow you down. Uh-oh. Empress. Why is this Empress out here? Because Six of Wands. Knight of Pentacles. So either somebody does not want... This is a parent. This is a this is a parent. This is somebody's mom or dad. Somebody doesn't want you or a person coming towards you to pursue this connection because of how someone expresses themselves. This Queen of Wands, whatever this Queen of Wands is doing to express themselves, it makes them happy. And with the, the wheel here, it's it brings them happiness. It's their will of fortune. This could have to do with what somebody does for work even. Somebody doesn't like it. And they keep trying to slow down this offer from going towards this person. Or it could be a divine feminine out here. Somebody doesn't want a person to come towards you because they're saying that what I don't like about this, because there, there's so many layers, somebody is blaming a person's friend or lover for the way that they express themselves instead of just ex, ex, um, accepting that this is who somebody is. I don't know if this is like for some a same sex situation, you know, interracial, intercultural, interreligion. Somebody out here is different from a person's usual type and expectations. And I'm going to be honest, the family doesn't accept it. 
but somebody is judging a person's friend or lover or whatever from a very self-righteous, conservative, traditional um, standpoint, and they're wrong about the situation. Yeah, what I say, lovers, this is about somebody's connection. Somebody may just feel like they don't want a person to marry someone. And what I say before, for somebody out here, this could be same. Say, I just said that. What do you have there? The King of Cups, the King of Pentacles, with the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody knows that their child possibly wants to be in a same-sex relationship. Now, this is not everybody's story, but for some, okay, I'm saying this two ways. For some, somebody in here really wants to be with the same sex and they aren't pursuing this or they're having a very difficult time because of their family. Now, we have two kings here. For some, the reason why two kings is out here is because somebody wants to go, this feminine out here could want to choose somebody that they truly love, king of cups. Their family wants them to choose somebody who is more status quo. Where, you know, more superficial status quo brings more money, security, stability. This empress may be saying, but no, I want to choose a person that I feel is the lover of, of my soul. Somebody I'm truly happy with, which it could be the king of cups or king of pentacles. But I'm just saying with cups versus pentacles. This is emotions versus, you know, um, assets, tangible things. Somebody out here is looking at being happy based on it's, it's intangible versus tangibles. So take, like I said, somebody here has to make a choice. For some, this, the same sex things may resonate, but with others, it's somebody has a very traditional family and their family is expecting them to be with somebody who's very traditional. This has a person very disappointed because they're working hard to like, Pursue somebody that they want to be with. The Five of Cups is here, Eight of Pentacles. This hard work, Nine of Wands. Somebody is very passionate, and it's like this person is saying, "This person has a hold on them," because I feel that somebody has just fallen in love with a person that's different. Two of Wands, the Tower, Four of Wands, and Three of Cups. Yeah, somebody wants to work with somebody, but the family or community have a problem with what their person does for work. Now this could be you or you could be dealing with somebody and your friends and family is concerned about what this person does for work or their security, their stability. It's something like that. It's really a lot of stuff that's not these other people's business, but they're definitely prying into your life and trying to sway your decision making they want you to judge a person based on something 3d but it feels like this is for many it's a 5d it's a spiritual connection so somebody wants to take control of their life and go after what they themselves somebody wants to create their own traditions and it's not according to what they've been taught as part of tradition. And, and somebody's family is very pissed about it. <laughs> Queen of Swords in the reverse. This card literally says gossip, malicious lies, bias, loss, misery. One who puts people down and can't be trusted. <laughs> Judgment. Somebody here is judging somebody and being very hostile and malicious about it. You have here the strength card. Look, you have the emperor in the reverse and the king of pentacles. So, <laughs> what in the Disney movie is this? Somebody's family, um, uh, 
definitely a parental figure. Wants, wants somebody here to choose somebody who I feel is an emperor in the reverse. And it goes back to, like I said, about upbringing, conditioning. This right here is... I'm gonna say how exactly how I'm picking it up. Now you up, you know, you take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And I may say parent, it could be a sibling, whoever. I'm picking up a parent here who feels like their son or daughter, adult son son or daughter, should be picking somebody who brings about who brings security. Notice how before we had the King of Pentacles and the King of Cups, and remember I said tangibles versus intangibles. You have the Emperor in the reverse here with the King of Pentacles and this card says security. Somebody's idea of security and stability is based on power, control, and what they possess, possessions, money, um, status. It's status quo. Somebody wants a person to pick and choose partners based on that. Now, the emperor card, emperor in the reverse here, could also speak of a person who did not. It's this card says absentee father. Somebody out here could have possibly even had an absent mother or father, and the other parent has a certain idea about the kind of person that they should be with to bring about security and stability for them and the family. I'm not going to say that they mean to be as awful as they're coming off in this reading. It seems like this type of control, they're doing it from a place of concern, but it's not right because they themselves don't actually understand a spiritual connection or what true love actually looks like. This is somebody who either has a had a very abusive parental figure or an absent parent who is now trying to teach you or your person how to go after love and relationships and they don't understand it themselves. So this is a generational thing. This in the beginning I kept saying this six of cups. Somebody has been, this is a generational cycle, a pattern of behavior that comes from um, families who have been separated, gone through divorce, whatever. And you have a lot of parents teaching children based off of what they knew false doctrine, the wrong teachings, trauma and everything else. And they're trying to force a divine being here to now conform. And it's not working. So a snapshot of what I'm getting is you have a mother or father figure here who is trying to tell their divine feminine or divine masculine son or daughter, like, how to live their life, but they themselves grew up in a very toxic home and had toxic relationships and they don't know what true love actually looks like. So you being the one in the family who is now manifesting true love or experiencing it, the whole family is up against you because they don't understand it. Somebody has been coached molded you you marry for money you marry for security and stability this is a woman telling her daughter you marry for security and stability i mean you, you it's like in the the movie the notebook do you pick the lover of your heart do you pick your king of cups or do you do you pick for love or do you or do you pick for money which one Somebody has to make this choice, but it needs to be your decision. And you're going to have to ignore what you've been conditioned to believe. Yep. And you're going to have to find the strength to free yourself from whatever this stronghold is. You have the three of wands here and the two of wands. 
three of wands. It's even this card here. You could be dating somebody who who is from a different country, different religion. Because the three of wands, this card says um, moving abroad, foreign land, forward planning, self-belief, freedom, success. For you, you may be happy moving to a different country. You may be happy um, being in a relationship with somebody of a different race, culture, or background. You have other people though, they're frowning upon your choice. The the choice, two of wands, is your choice, is your decision. It's your path. You choosing to leave the nest behind to create your own with something that doesn't look like the people from your nest have seen before, so they don't understand it. But where you're going is the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Cups. You're gonna have victory and success and be able to celebrate and be celebrated. These people, they're, them working against you is gonna be their loss. And this is justice for the high priestess. You're trusting your intuition. You're going down your own spiritual path. Something about you, the high priestess is, is a person who has an inner knowing. You have an inner knowing and with the, the Queen of Wands being out here and the Six of Wands, you don't need to hide the fact that you are a high priestess, this Queen of Wands. If if you have sex appeal, if whatever, whatever makes you attractive and magnetic to other people and opportunities that brings you, you know, this good energy, your confidence. You don't need to dumb yourself down or dim your light for these other people because they don't like the path that you're, if you want to move abroad, go. You know, whoever you choose for yourself, that's your business. And somebody is going to be, or they already are very disappointed with the five of cups here because you're trusting yourself. You, you're using your own knowledge to bring yourself justice and you're receiving a lot of recognition and rewards for it. And with the queen wants, you look good doing it. <laughs> and somebody is mad because everything that they said was wrong about you and your life or your lifestyle has proven to be great. This is somebody, the hangman in the reverse. Look, 10 of cups in the reverse. These are dysfunctional people in your family. They're stuck being discontent, bored, and in negative patterns while you are receiving justice. You're living in your truth. The high priestess and the justice, you're living completely in your truth. And you're receiving rewards of recognition for doing so. You're confident. You worked hard. Eight of Pentacles, Page of Swords, and the Hermit to go within and to find out things about yourself to learn. You became curious about learning about your own soul, who you are. And for some of you with the Eight of Pentacles, which speaks of hard work and a job, you could even be, you know, high priestess energy. This could be your work. I mean, obviously, we're here on YouTube. This is a tarot reading. Some of you, you're, you're spiritualist. You could have a spiritual-based business or you want one. Eight of Pentacles, you may be putting in the work to, become, to have a spiritual-based business or you're just mastering yourself. You're really, really prioritizing self-healing, shadow work, um, becoming spiritually enlightened. And somebody does not like that. Somebody cannot stand this. The Knight of Swords is in the reverse. This this Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords in the reverse, this person is ruthless. And they say things to you in a very low vibrational, tactless manner. And they say and do things to hurt you. They're malicious. Like, they say things to really try to take you out of this confident type of energy because you're you're inspirational or you're inspired by people the ace of wands you have a passionate new beginning and you're very somebody you're creative
you found passion in being, you know, sexy, sophisticated, a, a high priestess, spiritual, being awakened, learning more about consciousness, like whatever this is. And somebody has been telling you, oh, if you go down that way, that path, or if you, you know, if you practice that, if you learn that, or if you date this type of person, you know, you're a bad person or whatever. And what is really, really making this person mad is everything that you have had the confidence to do and pursue is bringing you great fortune and happiness while they're still stuck in their negative pattern of behavior, being mad, bitter, and, and, and to be honest, becoming even jealous and envious of you. And as somebody who is chosen, that's what happens. Your own friends and family, when they see you fearlessly go after things that they never had the confidence to do, eventually they will start to dislike you because when they see you, they see all the things that they did not have the confidence to do. Somebody was trying to create the this illusion that you were just forever going to carry a bunch of burdens. And this is a lot of ancestral trauma and family stuff that you've been just carrying on your back. And I feel like somebody kept telling you or anticipating that you are only going to have three of swords energy coming. All you were going to ever receive was heartbreak and pain and bad relationships and all of that. And no, in actuality, you're the star, you're healing, and you do have love coming in. And it's because you chose to go the way that God told you to go, not the way mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin told or your pastor told you to go. Because you're the high priestess. You have an inner knowing and you've done the soul searching work to know that you have your own light to follow when you get in the dark. You didn't need their advice. And people hate <laughs> when you do really, really well and they don't get to come along and they can't take credit for what you did. That's what, this is somebody who's mad that they can't take credit for the fact that you're so resilient and you've become a leader.